Hi, my name is Vachay Sapanian, and joining us today is Meg Givorkian from Glendale Community College, and she is the Student Outreaches Service Manager. Thank you for coming. How are you doing today? Thank you, Vacha. Doing well. Thanks for having me. Of course. So this is a very important interview, and hopefully by the end of this interview, lots of middle school and high school students who are planning to attend GCC in the upcoming months or in the upcoming years will learn a lot of information, and this can also be helpful information to parents and guardians of those students as well. So we have a few questions um, I would like to ask during this time. So I wanted to know, so Glendale Community College will be in a virtual setting this fall. That's what you guys decided. Right. So what made the staff make this decision and say that we want, you know, the fall, fall semester to be virtual? So our leadership team decided to stay virtual for the summer and the fall semesters with guidance, of course, from state uh, chancellor's office for community colleges and the local LA County Health Department. When we do look at coming back, we are looking at it, admitting 25,000 students. We do look at all the different places students need to be, not just the classroom, but also you know parking and, and all those different processes and spaces students need to be. So, uh, and it is looking like most community colleges, colleges and universities are gonna take uh, a similar stance to stay virtual for the fall. Um, so that, that is a, a little bit of how we came to that decision. Okay. Uh, also with planning and scheduling of classes for us to be able to let students know what we have available. We really do uh, that during the spring semester. So uh, you, we really needed to make sure our students knew what direction we were headed in for the fall. And then, so my next question is, when is the last day to sign up for classes for the fall term? So for the fall term to sign up, uh, high school seniors, we're recommending all seniors to apply, do their placement and their orientation be before April 21st. This is our priority deadline. So that is what I wanna make sure all the seniors know uh, to aim for is April 21st. Students can register and apply after that, uh, but the priority uh, deadline is April 21st. So as a senior, if anyone is thinking about uh, coming to Glendale College, if it is a school that you is on your list of schools to attend, please make sure you complete all the enrollment steps by the 21st. Okay, so April 21st is the deadline, or recommended deadline, we could say it like that, like recommended deadline to sign up. So thank you for the answer. So I wanted to know, so for the students who are senior right now in high school and are, pl and are planning to apply to Glendale Community College, and I'm sure there's a lot in the community in Glendale and maybe even other surrounding cities that wanna attend Glendale Community College, and maybe they're stuck at one part of their application or they're, they need help and guidance, how can they, who can they contact and what can they do if they need help? Great question, because that's very common. It, transitioning from high school to college, it, it's a very different process. And we have a, a great welcome center at Glendale College. So I would highly recommend for students to go through the welcome center. Uh, and we do have multiple ways students can reach us. They can call us with questions. We have web chat. Uh, to chat with a staff member or a student ambassador. We have a live Zoom session where students can talk to a staff member, uh, ask questions. You can even share screen while you're filling out the application and someone can help you with whatever step you're stuck on. So glendale.edu forward slash welcome. Uh, the Glendale College Welcome Center is the place to start. Okay, thank you. And so I wanted to know what are some uh, kind of classes and courses that GCC offers to students? I know there's many, if you'd like to uh, uh, elaborate on a few. Sure, so we have some programs where students can come to Glendale College, finish their general education classes. Um, and general education is, is structured in the way that A through G is structured. You have to take some math classes, English, uh, some science courses, uh, arts, uh, and you are that is our agreement with universities for you to, as a student to transfer. 
We also have a lot of career technical education programs uh, as high school seniors. Uh, if you want to be a pilot, we have a pilot training program. We have a wonderful culinary arts program. Uh, we have a nursing program. So business, our business program is phenomenal, including our entrepreneurship. Uh, we have a, a very robust theater and arts program. So th those are some of the pathways that students take through our career uh, education program. At the college, we also have a lot of classes offered through non-credit. So for example, if students are in, in high school right now and they wanna make up some high school credits, we have a program for that. We have business classes and computer science classes that students can take uh, at the non-credit campus in order to be able to catch up on some skills over the summer or over the year. So some wonderful opportunities uh, for students. And also journalism and broadcast publications that I'm doing right now. And <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we, we actually have a, a, a wonderful journalism program. Uh, our English program has a great summer bridge. So especially anyone who wants to go into writing and you want to catch up on those uh, writing skills, we have a really great summer bridge program for, for uh, English. Um, actually, overarching, we have a wonderful summer bridge program. So I, I'm going to uh, recommend for our seniors anyone who's a senior to apply through the ECAP program. Uh, ECAP is glendale.edu forward slash ECAP. That's the landing site. High school seniors can go through all the steps they need to complete before graduating through ECAP. And then what happens is after that, they, uh, they have an opportunity to do summer bridge where students take a few classes in the summer to get them prepared, ready for college, uh, freshman year of college. So yeah, you actually answered part of my question because I was gonna ask you right now, what do you offer to middle and high school students? And you did talk about the ECAP, which is part of the answer to my question. Is there anything else that you guys offer to starting from eighth grade to all the way to seniors right now? So yes, we have a, a program, a few programs for st students uh, that are in high school. So uh, we have uh, our ECA program at Hoover High School, which is open right now to all ninth graders. So the ECA program uh, is the Early College Academy for uh, current ninth graders. They can apply to the program and throughout 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students will have college classes embedded into their high school day. And the ECA program, uh, upon completion, students finish all their uh, general ed requirements, which is about a year and a half to two years of college education uh, that's completed. We have a brand new computer science and cybersecurity academy at Glendale High School. Uh, so that, that's also another early college opportunity that is open for application for current eighth graders. Uh, so for current eighth graders uh, can apply to that program. Uh, there should be a uh, a flyer that's mailed out to all eighth graders uh, this week because we will be having sessions next week. Uh, and as far as all ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, we have the dual enrollment program and we have our jumpstart program, which basically offers college classes for free to high school students. And you have an opportunity to pick and choose which courses you get to take. Okay, so Glendale Community uh, College offers a lot to students who are actually, you know, not even attending Glendale Community College, right? They're in either middle school or high school. So it's really helpful sources. Thank you so much for getting all those helpful sources. So- And Devache, so something I really want to add is uh, the students have an opportunity to apply to the GHS Academy in middle school, but really that program, all the concurrent enrollment programs where high school students take college classes, all that happens while they're in high school. So students have to complete eighth grade before they can take a college course. Okay, so this will be really uh, helpful, especially to, to those who are right now in eighth grade or are just going to high school in fall. They're you yeah. know, gonna attend um, high school, ninth grade, 10th grade, whatever it is. So um, now I would like to know, um, does GCC plan to return in person for January, 2022? I really hope so. <laughs> we miss our students, we miss being in person, but there hasn't been an official decision made yet. I think over the next few months, as we see how uh, the uh, pandemic is, is progressing and how the vaccines are, are um, helping with easing the spread of the pandemic, I think we can make a better decision about 
uh, winter, which is January 2022. But I truly hope so. We miss being on campus with our students. Okay, thank you so much for that answer. And now I wanted to know, does GCC offer uh, anything to students during the summertime? Yes, great question. We have a summer bridge for all the graduating seniors, which includes student development classes for students to take and uh, to help really prepare them for their freshman year of college. I highly recommend all high school seniors to do summer bridge. You also get an, a, a $200 book voucher once you complete your student development class in the summer. So um, great opportunity there. For all our students who will be in grades 9, 10, 11, or 12 during the summer, so anyone who has not graduated yet and will be in high school, we will have college classes you can take through the dual enrollment program and Jumpstart. So the websites to reference for those, glendale.edu forward slash dual, glendale.edu forward slash Jumpstart. And once again, our Welcome Center team can help with any of the questions you have beyond uh, today. And those websites that you mentioned is located on your screen right now. You can see that right now. Okay, perfect. So I wanted to know, I know Glendale Community College does a monthly food bank, if I'm not mistaken, it's monthly. So right. will you be able to give us a little more details, please, on the food banks? I know Glendale Community College does a really you know, awesome job in giving back to the community, giving back to the people who during these tough times. Great, yes, absolutely. We are always trying to find opportunities to support our students, especially with the pa pandemic. We know our student population has been impacted, whether that means uh, um, with uh, food, housing. We have a program called GCC Cares. And so uh, absolutely, we do have monthly uh, uh, food banks, but we also have a food pantry on campus for our students. Uh, we have support program with housing for students who are residents of, of the city of Glendale. So I would highly recommend reaching out to Andre Manukian uh, through our CARES program. And the website for that is glendale.edu forward slash CARES. Okay. And that's also located on your screen right now. You can see that. We are coming to the end of the program, but hopefully we do more interviews in the future to keep our community updated. But we have one last question. So why do you recommend Glendale Community College to our community students who want to, or who are looking into applying to GCC? Why do you recommend GCC? This is my favorite question to answer because I've been with Glendale College for the past 13 years. And before that, I was actually a student ambassador. And so while I was working at Glendale College, I was a student and I loved my student experience and my student ambassador experience so much. I always wanted to come back and I was very fortunate I had the opportunity to come back and really help give forward. But Glendale College is a launch pad for success. Uh, Glendale College is the place to be to make your dreams come true, to plan out your future. You're going to meet the right people there. You're going to meet the right programs, the right services. And at the end of it, when you boil it down, people at Glendale truly care. So whether that's your counselor, your professor, the support team, anyone you meet in the Welcome Center, the students, you will feel that sense of care and support to get you to your goals. Okay. Thank you very much. My guest for today was Meg Chilgevorkian from Glendale Community College. She is a student outreach services manager. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining our exclusive interview. And hopefully you'll come back soon in the future. Thank you, Martha.